The following is brought to you by the People's National Party. Jamaican people want better. Time me coming like stormy weather. Ancestors are turning on them grim. They can tell me how we can do it together. When we look at the future of precipice, we see Jamaica needs the vision of the PSP. People said the bug up promises them can't get And people want better Economy coming like stormy weather Ancestors are turning on them grim Because tell me The proceeding was brought to you by the People's National The following is brought to you by the People's National Party Happy Tuesday, everyone. <laughs> yeah, you remember. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. Really appreciate each and every one. Um, happy Tuesday to everyone in television land. Happy Tuesday to all our silent viewers. And happy Tuesday to those in the chat. Happy Tuesday to all our new subscribers. Thank you so much for your continued support. Really appreciate it. Hope everyone is having a wonderful and productive week so far. Um, tonight's topic is JLP guardrails are falling, and your host is Baron, and technical support is Anne Marie. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I am just going to go ahead and um, welcome everyone in the chat. So we have um, Wayne Evans, who was there earlier, saying Grand Rising Mystic Sensation and Family. Sonia Foster, happy Wednesday over there in the UK. Happy Wednesday for you already. Um, Laris Beckford, Dan Mel, Janet Jones, Yuna Vassal, um, Devon Watson, Cynthia B. Blessings. Um, Cynthia B is our channel um, member. Thank you so much um, for your um, extra support. Um, Monica Purpose. I'm um, sorry, Walking Purpose, Monica Mel, sorry. Um, Andrea Hunt, Truck Life, Light Fang, Megawatt Bolt, Noel Williams, Andy Bryan, Patel Crickshank, um, Rosalie Ricketts, Danet Wainwright, Juba Bruce Love TV, and Miss Yvonne Johnson. Good night to you both and to each and everyone in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Um, Brenda Elson, um, Audrey K, 
Hey, welcome, welcome. Happy Friday and thank you guys for tuning in. So without any delay, I'm going to hand over to Baron because I have to All do right. some housekeeping. All right. Uh, thank you for that, um, honey, for that um, precursor. Um, very good delivery as always. Um, let me say this. Um, today we have um, observed um, Nigel Clark, you know, um, budget um, debate um, speech, budget um, presentation as it relates to the 2024-2025 um, budget. And of course, um, we are going to um, dissect it, but um, we just need some more time to, you know, um, research, right, and fax check, right, the necessary fax. But none of what Nigel Clark said today, right, as it relates to him kicking up, right, in Parliament is going to distract us, right, from the main focus, right, where we talk about good governance, right. Um, we have a situation develop, develop, developing up. Um, as it relates to the, ad, the Auditor General sent back two reports, right, um, to Parliament, um, particularly to Juliet Onus, right? And so then we are anticipating, we are anticipating, right, those two reports, right, to be quickly reviewed and tabled. So none of what Nigel Clark, had done today is going to cause any form of distraction, right? Now, I want to begin in terms of our focus, right, where we are going, right? Now, let me just um, play this clip for us to guide us through um, the evening. Um, without any further delay, honey, let us play this um, clip. Right. Okay, so give it to me. The video that you put in the pen there. The video that you put in the over there. Okay, I'm looking at one sec, guys. Which one is it? This one. Yeah, okay. The that the okay. The other one is pointing at that I don't have this so I got confused. Corruption was everywhere. The country was bankrupt spiritually, bankrupt morally, and in the years, those who had been wealthy had grown more wealthy. Those who had been privileged had grown more privileged. Those who were poor had grown poorer. And those who had no rights had sunk deeper into despair. And the people of Jamaica looked at that. And they said, no more, no way. And those are the people that now want to come back. No way. No way. All right. So that being said, my people, we are going to display the Integrity Commission mission of persons who the Integrity Commission had recently contacted to report to the Integrity Commission. You know, um, and this is the thing as it relates to rumor and propaganda from the Jamaica Labour Party. They are saying that, okay, the Integrity Commission, right, is now pursuing, right, four members of the People's National Party to report. That is a rumor. So let me show all the persons who are spreading rumor. Oh, the Integrity Commission is actually pursuing all right um let us lift up that document so that people can see the evidence we don't we don't we don't care about jamaica labor party propaganda trying to twist 
right, and try to lies and try to, you know, we are going to present the truth. So let us show the people who the Integrity Commission is actually pursuing. Yes. One. So the first one here, people as you see, is Robert Montague, member of parliament for the St. Mary Western Division, is being asked to attend on the Office of the Integrity Commission by March 27, 2024. March what? 26, so tomorrow. So tomorrow. Anywhere you are, Mr. Robert Montague, you need to know, right, that here is a public notice from the Integrity Commission for you to report to the Integrity Commission. So for the, all those who spread in propaganda, Robert Montague, right? is not in the People's National Party. Robert Montague is in the Jamaica Labour's Party. Let us take, take away that. Let us present the second one for them. Mr. Robert P. Chin, Member of Parliament for the Manchester Southern Division, is being asked to attend on the Office of the Integrity Commission by March 27, 2024, the commission has made several attempts to contact Mr. Robert P. Chin and, of course, without success. However, people, let me say this, that Mr. Robert P. Chin came out, right, and claimed that, right, he's going to go into the Integrity Commission Right, and present what needs to be presented. But let's just imagine how many months that the Integrity Commission been pursuing this man, and this man is acting as if he's bigger than the Integrity Commission. So then, if the Integrity Commission did not put out a public notice, <laughs> right, and show John Public, say, listen, man, we need you. We need you to come in with some documents and explain Right, what we are investigating and what we are looking on and what you have pre pre um, presented, right, is not really um, working out, right, where we are concerned. We are seeing some variances, sir. So then we want you to come in and clarify that. So let me repeat what I said. No amount of what Nigel Clark Promising all what he can promise, right? And if you notice people, right, speaking futuristically, right? Please note that, right? With all what he, and you know the funniest thing? Here they are promising all what they can promise. And right now, people, the tri bridge has not been fixed. But regardless of all the promise that they are promising, the tri bridge has not yet been fixed. Mr. Chin is a disgrace to his family. He had to let the IC embarrass him before he replied, yes, Arthur. Right, yes. Now we are going to go into, so let me tell you something. We have, we have seen persons trying to, trying to you know, um, reflect or deflect. Let me use the word deflect. Deflect from what Mark Golden, right, stood for in the parliament while they, um, you know, the, um, the, the, the incumbent government walk out of parliament. I mean, he's there to present, represent the people and he walked out on the people's affairs. Can you imagine? Unprecedented. It has never yet done before. But you know, with Nigel Clark, right? Trust me. I don't surprise in anything that Nigel Clark has done because Nigel Clark is Nigel Clark. Nigel Clark and Andrew Holness, right? Sorry. Andrew Holness, right? You know, but both of them, they are, they are, they are, they are one of a kind. 
So even if we make a little hair and say Nigel Clark, I mean, you know, both of them, Nigel Clark and Jonas, right? As a matter of fact, the entire 49, right? They are, you know. Now, and so then we are seeing the truth. Um, the ICU is being kept very busy by the crooks. Exactly. Right, a lot of work for the IC to do, particularly where this government is concerned. Right, it is the, I think it is the first time in the IC career, the IC is so busy, extremely busy. The IC get, the IC got extremely busy between the period 2006 to 2016 until now. It is the busiest era of the Integrity Commission. Right, the Integrity Commission has, has a lot of corruption to deal with. Now, let us look on, right, where they are talking about trying to shift this thing into, like, agenda attack. Mark Golden is attacking Juliet Owens as a result of her agenda. Can you imagine? No, remember, it couldn't be agenda issue when the previous speaker of the house was a female right and it seems like jamaica labor party who's trying to know project agenda issue forget right that the previous speaker was a female so there you go as it relates to the gender argument right when mr Dalrymple was there Right? At any time, I want to ask Jamaica this, since you are talking about gender issue with Mark Golden. At any time, did Mark Golden as ever, as ever, have such concern as it relates to Dalrymple? No, people are talking about Mark Golden, right? Um, shouldn't have allowed it and re -re blah, blah. Or um, you know, um, you know, they shouldn't they, they, they should be on record in opposing opposing that. It's neither here nor there for me. Right? Because Mark Golden explained himself as it relates to as culture, as standard. The opposition is normally going to um agree as it relates to the incumbent government you know, selecting the Speaker of the House, right? And so then this is supposed to show them that Mark Golden did not have a gender issue, right? And so then, right, the People's National Party, being the, be, being the few in Parliament, right, um, do us culture, right, in terms of agreed um, with the appointment. To show that Mark Golden, right, is a person that deals with fairness, right? They did not attack the appointment. I want people to know this. When Judith Olness was appointed, Mark Golden, or the opposition, did not attack the appointment because they were being professional in saying that, okay, all right, Juliet Owens, right, may have the capacity as it relates to the academics, right, um, in terms of she performing that area. They didn't see anything wrong with that. So if she has the, cap the capacity to perform in the area, it's okay, fine, right? And they go along with it. Now, after that had taken place, what they had realized as it relates to no Juliet owners start to utilize what we call delayed tactics, right, in suppressing the reports, right, from the Auditor General. The Auditor General had sent, right, two reports, right, um, to Juliet owners. And obviously, Juliet owners had suppressed those reports. Now, when Mark Golden had spoken about it, to show you how disingenuous they are, they send back the report the following day, right? And we're Oris Chang, right? Came out to say that there is no report to be tabled. 
there is no report to be tabled because you sent back the report that was supposed to be tabled from how long? Right? And this is the thing as it relates to the Jamaica Labour Party continues, continues to lie to the Jamaican people. Let us get into the details of that. Um, without any delay, let us bring up um, the gleaner and let us read in the bits and um, bits and pieces of the gleaner. Okay. All right. Okay, so let me um, get this on here it is. Um, Speaker Holness accuses House Clerk of gross dereliction of duty regarding angling of Auditor General Report. Published Monday, March 25th, 2024. Speaker of the House, Juliet Holness, has accused Clerk to the House of Parliament, Barry Curtis, of gross dereliction of duty in relation to the handling of reports submitted by the Auditor General Department, right? In a letter to Curtis dated March 22, 2024, only claimed that the clerk action brought the parliament into this repute. Let me just stop right there and take away that. Um, take away that. And let us discuss this. <laughs> You're not coming back to it? Uh, no. Yeah, let's close it up. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, here it is, right, that a report, two reports that were set back by Juliet Owens. So then I presume that Juliet Owens now would have looked on the report and vet those reports, reviewed those reports, and would have seen any form of disparity, right? Any form of anything that wrong with the process as it relates to now blaming the clerk. As as, as I know, blaming the clerk. Should have seen that first. But to the fact that the Auditor General, right, Yes, to the fact that the Auditor General now stood her ground, stood her ground and said, nothing wrong with the process that I have taken in terms of sending you the report, right? And so then I am going to resend the report that you have sent. Now in a Delayed tactics. You understand the political trickery continues, right? Now they are now strategically shifting blame to the clerk because they know what they want now. They want now to utilize the investigation in the clerk to keep up time. And then that investigation is going to take some time into the clerk. And then after the investigation takes some time to, uh, in the clerk, then of course it is going to take some time again to be tabled by time. All dishonest. The level of dishonesty. Um, just hold on, let me just answer um this caller. Um, yes, yes, caller, you are on the lip mystic sensation live. Go ahead. All right, mystic of uh, like uh, maybe about three questions to ask. Yes. One. Like with the other general, you don't think these report, you don't think it should it would be professional if the opposition get a copy the same time the government get a copy. You know, very you good. That's the way it should work. Very good. I believe that as it relates to checks and balance. Right. That means that means it would be good government, good governance, right? Because I think so. Would be this moment because opposition doesn't really know what's going on so they don't even have to ask any question because you don't think that's the way it should be well that is the it that, doesn't matter who 
it doesn't matter who in power, whether PMP, JLP, any time a report has been sent into power, the, oppo the opposition should get one copy and the government get their copies. You are perfectly correct, sir, because remember that the opposition is a part of the government. People need to government. understand that. The opposition is a part of the government. And as it, it relates to... I do, I do agree with you. That's that's really look. This is a brilliant um, suggestion, right? Really agree with you because that allows checks and balance and transparency. So, sir, I hundred percent agree with you. I'm gonna ask another question. Under this government, you think another party can win another election? Don't get me wrong, you know. Because at the local government election, the JNP didn't win, but they get it. And you don't think all election going to run under anti wallace government, that's the way it's going to be? I'm just asking these questions. Right, and now the question where you ask, the, it, 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 you, you make my blood a boil. The question that you ask, mm -hmm. really and truly, you make my blood a boil because, listen, I am not going to sit here wasting my time. You understand? Because my focus is to get out this government out of power and also what ensure... And also ensure that if the government, as it relates to investigation, right, found guilty, right, should be processed through the judiciary, right? And it's all about checks and balance, and I don't care. If that is, yes, go that ahead. That is a problem. That is a problem. We live in overseas. Every day we get up and we say the same thing. All right. If this man didn't know what he's doing, remember, you know, if people want the process, they have to get permit. Don't? You're perfectly right. Okay. Why would a government do that? Because he have his plan. So what more do we want to see? The, the Integrity Commission cannot come and just say, this and that is the first this ever happened in the history of Jamaica. All these things, gag order they find almost everybody. So you are telling me that the government never know that he is corrupt and he's going to do all these things that he's doing. Why he put all this gag up and make people can go protest without permission? And it looks like he corrupt all the police and soldiers them too, because people go for permit they can't even get it. People protest, but you and if you protest. You go to jail, you get lack of bar, maybe you get beat up, you get chick out, you get gunshot from police and, and all these things. So what you are telling me, say, I do want to never plan all these things before him even go in up, go to prime minister. Look here, you say everything we have on, I tell you, I do want to win no election in a Jamaica. Let me tell you this straight now. No election that man don't win. Take him, take them. Well, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people feel so um, disgruntled, and you know, you said some solid points, right? Because you are talking about um, some premeditated um, situation, and why, why, why we, the Jamaican people, should not believe that Andrew Owens, right, um, has some premeditated plans. Here's the reason why I think that Andrew Wallace have um, premeditated plans. Right? The Member of Parliament is supposed to sign the Code of Conduct. Right? Ensuring to the Jamaican people, right, that they will be responsible, they will be accountable, right, and they will be ensuring good governance. I have a problem if Andrew Wallace, right, decided that him along with his 48 members, are not going to sign the Code of Conduct. And today, as we speak, I am so surprised that you have so much people still galvanized around the Jamaica Labour Party. Is it that Jamaica gone so far to the abyss of wrongdoing and criminality? Look here, that's not the point, you know. Yes, it's the thing where we have to understand and the one that's keep the people them hungry. That's that's why him can buy them out when election when election time come. Remember, the PMP government and not at all to give them enough. Okay. So you ever tell me say when a man come and uh, and give fifty thousand 
and you did drunk and you did do maybe 5,000 for the fact and like that. Why? You have say you're not going to take it. That's why Andrew Polnis have the people that suffer and are starved. Well, election run if they member none of the people that get the election after right. them again. My caller, the only way, and you see, let me say this um, to you, Carla, and all those who are listening um, to us. The DPP, Paula Lubelin, allowed Andrew Ones to get away with a lot of things. Then you know, see, the DPP discredited herself just the other day upon my man the radio station. A lot of things. You know, your DPP is saying corrupt himself already. Mm -hmm. in, in plain words. Basically. But Basically, when he said him corrupt and self already. You're right. So one more one want to see say we don't have no DPP, we don't have no commission of police, we will not have no money we sit down in the 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 the, the big house the way we name the the man we underneath the, the queen, the governor general. You know, yes. we don't have no governor general. The DPP the, the, one of them are play politics. The DPP the and general bigger the DPP you now. The DPP the governor general yes. bigger than the DPP. At the, no, no. Yes, I know that. Okay. The DPP no, 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 no. and a public platform, of my brethren, the DPP and a public platform has admitted that she has an awareness of TNT jur jurors, right? And have those cases still proceed. We should look into all those. Cases. And so then I am saying, in terms of good governance, as it relates to all those cases that Paula Lovelin tried, right? Those cases that possibly can identify as it relates to tamper jury, right? They should have a recall on those cases. Look here. You see, you see, if that did happen in something like the US or something like that, you see, everybody will have laid the sentence walk free right now. Mm -hmm. and, and she would be fine and prisoned. She would be fine and prisoned. Let me tell you that. Yeah. All right, my brethren. Thank you for calling. Right. Um, other persons are calling too. Blessing, my friend. Blessing, my brethren. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Okay. The, the line busy. All right. I'm not, I'm not going to leave anyone behind. No. Answer. Good night, sister love. Good night. How are you doing? All right. Yes. And the DPP and the Wallace Gang. That's why I love all the DPP, the Jamaica Constable Force, and all of them are condemned. I come now, accomplice. You didn't call me now. Them, help me with the word, no man. You mean accomplices, man? They are accomplices? Accomplices. Yes. But they are the betting. Criminal. Okay, Aiden and Abet. Yes, Aiden and Abet. The JCF, the JDF, I mean, I take more because money never authority. We can't do things. Yes. The GG, Paul, mm -hmm. Aiden, and the POJ, Aiden and Abet, we have to go and bring down this country. You are right. The message I get to them, sir. You are right. If one thing we go to our innocent people is that we reflect our power. And you only say your wife, they, they is the only gang member in a Jamaica despite. It's merely you hearing and breaking with them. You, nobody, Prime Minister, do nobody arresting, nobody. Look at Miss Curtis. And now they want to show Miss Curtis under the bus. And the woman who will, who will jump with 
Tell them, sister. Tell them. I am seeing all signs. I am seeing all signs of red flags as it relates to dictatorship. All signs of red flags. So is there is nothing we can we can submit a paper to the king and the United States. Well, we have. We 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 spoke with our own Philippines. Well, we can do. Well, well, what we need to do, uh, we have an election coming, um, you know, um, ahead of us. So we have to make sure that, you know, um, we continue to educate our people. Yes. Well, yeah, I understand your concern. I understand your concern. However, um, you know, that is the process that we have to utilize in terms of um, getting out of government. That um, we, we, as per constitution, that we get out our government, we put in a government and get out a government as a result of the process of an election. Remember that Jamaica is a sovereign country and has its own constitution. Who is sovereign to? <laughs> a very good question you ask. You know, I mean, we have our own constitution. That that is why they said that, um, we are sovereign. Any any um country that has um. You know, it's one constitution that makes them sovereign. So, so what purpose the king deserves? Well, you see, that's why they want to go republic. Right? Because our constitution was not, you know, um, approved by our people, by us. Written by us and approved by us. You understand? It is, it is by the British monarchy and that's why they want to change it. But the the, 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 um, the the contention is we don't want Andrew Cornes to change it. You understand? And I support that. I support that. So, so question again. Yes. We the people can 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 the council. Well, I, I don't know if you have a process in terms of that. I would have to seek some advice on that. But very good question that you're asking. We are, we can carry them to, to no Congress, to any Congress, man, or man, or so. No, I don't think so. What role has 
fans that if this country should invade Jamaica in terms of war, yes, which country defend me? Well, it all depends because there are some um, countries. You know, if we have agreement with um, certain countries, then we can get defend. We can be defended under that umbrella, right? But again, if we don't have any agreement under such um, convention, then that's a different um, situation. Oh, but look, so if anything, no, like oh. Well, remember, you know, if, and, and that is the situation with Haiti. If you notice, it is not like, you know, um, Haiti is still a sovereign country. And so then it is not like, you know, um, people can just run in just like that and, and, and so and, and, and so forth. It, you know, it, it, it takes a, it takes a, um, a process, right, as it relates to international laws and so forth. Geneva Conference law and all them and, and all them thing there. Well, Andrew Oden is the gang leader away about here in a parliament. And it made him never put the parliament. Jamaican people have to get, get up and do something. They need to nip in the bud. Too much of them now. Look at Miss Curtis. Miss Curtis said the PMP said the GLP and the Shamanda and the Mantara and never made a mistake. And, and, and point it out, sister. Mrs. Curtis has never made a mistake having to serve under series of, um, you know, speak of the house. She has never made a mistake. She has done that with, um, with, um, yeah, right? And it is so sad that. She's going to want to throw, throw on um, under the bus. But the fuck of the matter, it still remains that those two reports, right, have sent back to her. And so then we are still anticipating for her to have the report tabled. Right now she's in a corner. You know? So then all of, all of the, the opera that Nigel Clark uh, went on with today, that is not going to change anything. What we are saying right we want to know that those reports right are going to be tabled right so well we don't know well we don't know if you understand um that report of you know any of the reports has anything to do with them but you know um it's as of, as far as i um concerned as it relates to the six we don't know where the status of that is whether it's under the investigation period or it has, has been sub submitted to the corruption prosecutor. We just don't know where that report lies. Right? No, remember, no, the integrity commission can speak. Um, no, all right, let, let me explain something to you. Right? Providing yeah. that an investigation has been initiated by the integrity commission. Yeah. Section 53, yes. right, that the Prime yes. Minister installed, simply mean that, that, that yes. simply mean that they cannot speak on the report. They can't. Because of the God Clause, Section 53 of the Integrity Commission Act, Section 3. So they cannot um, speak oh. on the report. So that is, and, and, and that is that is it in terms of it, cripple checks and balance, right? Well, as I said, they just cannot speak anything regarding the status of the report if it is under investigation. And we don't know if it is under investigation. So, Well, the process of that, right before it can be um, spoken on, right? So when the Integrity Commission finished their report, Right, they have to anticipate that it go to the next level, right, and then it goes to um the the corruption prosecutor, that the corruption prosecutor may review it, and the corruption prosecutor may decide whether or not um charges are to be laid or you know they are not to be laid. Then what? The, yes, the corruption prosecutor now would have now um send it um to um Parliament, 
right, for it to be reviewed. And um, after that, now the report sh um, should be tabled. So, 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 so that is the process. That is the legal process. Oh, so I mean, if it comes to the prosecutor, that's good And another thing again. So when we talk about the process, the 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 um, what you have now, you have um, Juliet Olness now want to start a shift from the process. Because she's now saying that the report now need to go to the integrity commission oversight that she sits on. And you know who else sits on it? Wilmington, right? But look, the amount of GLP sit on it. You understand? They can kill the report there. So it doesn't really make sense. So you're telling me now that uh, the possibility of Juliet Owens might be on that report. You are now standing to the Integrity Commission oversight where Juliet Olness wanted to go to. You understand? So Juliet Olness now look over our own investigation. That makes no sense to me. So as far as this country, you know, we don't want to be well. So who can hold the president? Who can hold the most of So you see the reason why we have, no. to, we have to depend on the election? We have to depend on no, the election? Must be something. It must be a hard of 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 Right, why not? Why we can't march, march against it? I think that if the people, as you said, take it to the street, right, and call out, you understand, all the worthlessness, worthless, worthless, worthlessness that is taking place, all the corruption that is taking place, then of course, you understand, it forced the government, you understand, into a position. That's what I believe, right? The people, remember that the people have the ultimate power, you know, and properly speaking, the people are the government. The people who um, elect them, the government, right? They are our servant, right? We elect them to serve us. Not to do all this. No, he won't like my king. <laughs> yeah, him won't like my like king. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. The king and Juliet will the queen. And let me tell you something. Nobody knows when it, you call it about it. But listen this. Andrew Oldness, I a new name of Bramwell. Boy, you feel. You have trouble making it. I will sacrifice some people. Where's a new name? No, where's a new name? Bramwell. Bramwell. B R A M W E L L. So he's Mr. Bramwell. He's Mr. Bromwell. No, no. <laughs> okay, all right. This is Mr. Bromwell is a seasoned politician. Yes, in TNT. So why the ink they I see him to be commissioned throw down him for something and publish and she have a step down, don't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, they are the exactly. Exactly. That's why, that's why we are here to educate and empower the people. And we are going to do it. 
I believe, I believe that we are going to um we are going to prevail. Trust me, I believe that. I definitely believe that we are going to prevail. Every yeah. day, every day, something else. Every day right. before they say, say they do one, one of those are the people are lying. And now we go to new one and the boss. What next you going to do? <laughs> what next? All I'm right. going to sit down and say, my friends, my father. What do you want to be about the place? I'm in peace, my friends, I'm going to say, Yo, you feel your family is like you need my follow, 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 you're welcome. Yeah, man. All right, cool. Just show. All right. So, um, Jamaica Carlos, big up yourself and people. Remember, pass through Jamaica Carlos. Give Jamaica Carlos a support, you know, right? Leading the mission as well. Big up yourself, Jamaica Carlos. All right. Uh, Daisy, um, bless up yourself, Daisy. Um, why is it that this is the first time of all the decades of service? Claire Curtis has given to the um, parliament. She's been accused of the election of duty. Juliet is using her as a scapegoat. Miss um, Daisy, trust me, you are so correct, right? Because, I mean, prior in sending, prior in sending back the report, right? That wasn't an issue. That wasn't an issue. She would have, she would have to realize the issue prior in sending back the report. And she did not realize that that was an issue, right? Until, right, the Auditor General decided that she's going to send back the report. Then, you understand, it's just the utilization of more delayed tactics, right? Um, Serene, uh, Miss Curtis has been in Parliament before Juliet dream of entering politics. Rude. She's extremely rude, um, Serene. Extremely rude, right? Extremely rude. So, and that is what? That is what they are doing, right? You know, um, using delayed tactics to cover up their wrongdoing, right? And if they have to fling people under the bus, yes, they are going to fling people under the bus. All right. Um, let us talk about now. We are going down to deal with the situation with the DPP because what I want to make her to understand, right? With Andrew Wallace, Juliet Owens and all the corruption that is taking place. If we get this DPP out, three quarter of our problem would have been resolved. If this DPP gone, if we get this DPP gone, three quarter of our problem that we are facing as it relates to corruption in high places, right? Now, we are going to prove tonight how corrupted this DPP is and need to move ourselves, right? Because she just stand up in the way, right? And causing a cancer and good governance, right? Now, when you look at the criminal justice system, bringing the criminal justice system in disrepute, bringing the criminal justice system in disrepute. And now, Serene's she tabled the TAJ report today. Okay. TAJ is paying millions for rent for buildings that are not being used. No, hold on. Let me touch a point that was serene. Serene the point. Just imagine, you know. Serene, you know, you know what we need to do? Right? We need to get for that thing here. As it relates to them paying millions of dollars to whom? Whom that they are paying the millions of dollars to. So we need to investigate as it relates to nepotism, cronyism, and skullduggery. Because I can almost be sure that many of this money that is paying, right, for um, rental, right, going back to possibly their friends, or if not possibly, that they may have set up companies. Yes, companies. Yes. 
shell company and the money going to the shell companies. Siren, trust me, right? This is their MO. This is the Jamaica Labour Party MO, right? Millions of dollars going to their friend. And you know, when we talk about political kickback, right? Sweethearting, all of that being taking place with this government. Can you tell me now if the main taxpayer any good? And we want to get right maximum service for our dollar, right? Why they make a move like that? Could they identify maybe some building that they can use, right, to avoid all of that? We have, we have several government buildings in Abanda that they could have used to do the, um, the process. Some, some of who can work might be from home, you understand, should work from home. But yet, yet, right? You have Nigel Clark come out and kill up himself and talk about red, um, red card. Red card with this Nigel Clark. This is the red card. Right? This is the red card that you need to speak about, Nigel Clark. But we have what? Much millions of dollars paying out. You understand? For rental. And yet, the mission that we want to achieve as it relates to constitutional reform has not reached anywhere. And millions of dollars, right, being just ripped from our, um, out of our treasury. Right? The nepotism and it's called dogry. And you know what? PSOJ, you know, you're nothing um, um, from PSOJ. You know, PSOJ, you, know, uh, you understand because you have some members within the PSOJ, they are benefiting a lot from this government. So, the, so some, of the, some of these members, I'm not accusing everyone, some of these members, they will do everything possibly to make Andrew Holness stay in power. Right, all of the corruption, them overlook. Um, Janet, we need to stop expecting these people playing fear game. They have thrown everything away. They plan to win whatever it takes. Right, watch it. And Janjan, -Jan, trust me, you are correct. No, based on what Janjan -Jan said, let us put up back what Janjan -Jan said. And I want people to just look at that. Let me say this to Jamaican people. Andrew Holness. And members of parliament, if you believe that they care about running this country, care about running this country, right? Let me tell you something. You have a next thing coming. What Andrew Holness care about, right, is to the fact that, let me speak out the truth. Let me speak out the truth. So you have one in there, and remember the people, remember? Roughly about two weeks ago or three weeks ago, right? I came out with a clip so people can go back and review it. Where we talk about flip flop. You understand? Because I know that Warmington is a flip flopper. You understand? And I know that Warmington, right, can't pull away himself. And why the reason why Warmington can't pull away? Warmington can't pull away because he wants the protection. And likewise, right, Andrew Holness need Warmington to be silent. Right? Warmington want the protection and Andrew Holness need Warmington to be silent. And so then, of course, you see the mutual benefits, right, coming out. Right? Let me tell you something, people. When you hear JLP, let me warn all manlyites, democratic socialists, let me warn you know. But not the JLP have no look of fracas over JLP. But they stay over there. Don't pay it no mind. Don't pay it no mind. Because at the end of the day, it's when it comes to corrupt, corrupt corruption, they are going to pull together. They are going to fight together. Because they are corrupted. And you're going to have a domino effect. When you have true investigation, start to rip it through. People, let me tell you, and remember that Mystic Sensation say this. You are going to see a ripple effect. 
And the ripple effect is going to start when we don't have Paula Llewellyn there. That is going to be the beginning of a ripple effect for the Jamaica Labour Party when Paula Llewellyn is not there. So let us go into some clips and show you as it relates to how corrupted Paula Llewellyn is without any delay on um, lift up this clip. So you're going here. So people, hold on. Before me, I play this clip, remember, you know, people, it is not apart from us saying that Paula Llewellyn is corrupted. You have people who work with Paula Llewellyn. Paula Llewellyn peers are indeed admitting that Paula Llewellyn is corrupted. And as a matter of fact, they've been further in saying that Paula Llewellyn is to be investigated because she's putting the DPP's office in this review. Remember, I am going to play the clip and let you hear it. evening a battle is brewing between the director of public prosecutions dpp paula llewellyn and senior deputy dpp katian pike in a letter to the government miss pike not only called for a new dpp but appealed for an investigation into the operations of the office but as kelisha williams reports miss llewellyn fired back describing miss pike as a bully who has always been bitterly resentful and upset that she is not the boss it's a clash between prosecutors. First, senior DPP Kathy Ann Pike sends a letter to the Prime Minister and the Justice Minister not to extend the tenure of DPP Paula Llewellyn and select a new DPP. She stressed that there is a plethora of problems plaguing her office which should be investigated. One, Ms. Pike said she and other prosecutors have concerns about the growth and validity of the office under Llewellyn's leadership. In fact, she said some prosecutors have expressed a lack of confidence in her leadership. Two, Ms. Pike indicated that under the office of the current director, the office has consistently lost some of the most gifted legal minds and the attrition rate has never been as high as currently being experienced in the past seven years in the history of the office. And she indicated that there are many persons seeking to leave. Three, she noted that of the 56 prosecutors employed to the office of the DPP, less than 50% have experience of five years and over. She noted in an year of trial readiness and case management, inexperienced prosecutors are being asked to represent the state's interest in complex and serious cases. She also cited the absence of the prosecutors from the DPP's office appearing before the UK-based Privy Council since 2008. Ms. Pike suggests the government conduct a poll to find out whether the members of staff are in support of Llewellyn's leadership. But hours after the letter dropped on Friday, another bombshell which saw DPP Paula Llewellyn in defense mode. In a six-page response, Ms. Llewellyn said although she's an experienced prosecutor, Ms. Pike has always been bitterly resentful, extremely upset, and expressed feelings of hurt and disrespect to me and other members of staff because she has not been placed to head a unit. Ms. Llewellyn noted that in her efforts to be fair, she has preserved with Pike and ignored her behavior. In another twist, Ms. Llewellyn said it is only she and other senior deputies who have been successful in not being target of her bullying and intimidation. As it relates to the DPP's office at the Privy Council, Ms. Llewellyn said the information as it relates to the representations in the Privy Council would never be revealed to Ms. Pike, as it would only be revealed on a need-to-know basis.
She indicated that her HR director has advised that they will have to invite the Office of the Services Commission to conduct a full investigation into the unprofessional conduct of Ms. Pike, which has put the office into disrepute in order to rid the process of any semblance of bias and ascertain the truth concerning this matter. Kalisha Williams, TVJ News. Well, people, let me say this, because you know how mystic sensation work. Whenever we speak of any issue, we are going to back it up with supported documents. That means what we are saying, we are providing the source of the information. This is how mystic sensation work and deliver service to our people who are listening to us. Because we value everyone who comes here, right, on this platform to listen to us. They want to be edified. They want to make sure that the information that we are presenting, right, the information is factual, right? We're not in enough form of clickbait. So anything that we are disseminating up there, right, it is 100% truthful. Now let us move on. Now, I am going to prove to people as it relates to what Miss Pike said, right? And what Miss Pike said in terms of my subjective opinion, I believe Miss Pike, because we have seen situation that come under very serious, questionable circumstances, very serious, questionable circumstances. Now. Here is one of them that my entire jaw, jaw dropped in surprise to know that what Paula Lovelin had done relating to jury tampering, there was, and there was a case that already established in law. And we are I presume that if Paula Lowellen being the articulate prosecutor, as she boasted on several um, occasions, right, that she has the, te the testicular fortitude, right? Then, having the testicular fortitude, I wonder why she did not, you know, make herself aware that there was a case already established in law pertaining to jura tampering. People, listen this clip. Please. All right, so um, why is he searching for that clip for us to confirm what we are saying in terms of we showing um, the evidence? For attorneys at law, P.J. Patterson and Hugh Small KC, trial judge Justice Lennox Campbell's decision to continue the murder trial of Vibes Cartel and his then co-accused in 2014, despite accusations of jury tampering, was a fatal error which made any verdict unacceptable in accordance with the tenets of justice. The joint statement, however, suggests that Justice Campbell or the three judges of the Court of Appeal should have been made aware of a previous ruling by the Court of Appeal in 1983 where an entire jury was discharged because one member was believed to be potentially biased. That 1983 trial was a liable case involving the Gleaner Company Limited and John Hearn versus Michael Manley. In that trial, it was revealed that the foreman of the jury was employed to the National Workers' Union, NWU, while Mr. Manley was also the NWU's island supervisor. The trial judge then discharged the foreman on the grounds of apparent bias. The Court of Appeal of Jamaica decided then to discharge the entire jury and ordered a new trial. Mr. Patterson and Mr. Smart believe that if this case had been brought up to guide the judges when it was revealed that a juror was bribed and attempted to bribe the rest of the jury in the cartel murder case, the jury would have been dismissed in its entirety. In some quarters, the Privy Council's ruling is seen as an indictment on Jamaica's justice system. 
It's why Mr. Patterson and Mr. Small describe the entire situation as regrettable. All right. So, there it goes, right? To establish KT lawyer, right, is saying that there was a case that established in 1983, right, where the Privy Council had decided, right, where a juror was connected. And what was the result of that? That all of the jurors were dismissed. And so then remember, Paula Lovin had been practicing um, laws from, from Wapia Kill Philip, right? And should be aware of such situation. But no, it is not only the West Cartel case that consists of a tainted jur ju um, jurors that um, Paul Llewellyn um, allowed to um, continue. Paul Llewellyn, in her in our own saying, out of her own mouth, spoke that she had experience where you have tampered jura, right? And the case still proceed. I don't know why she said that. I don't know what was the basis of her argument, right? To justify what she had done to justify the wrong, but it is ultimately wrong. And so then when you look at that, right? As it relates to how blatant that was in terms of that situation, then it is very serious that either one, we have a DPP who really don't care about the tenants of the law, right? And use it conveniently. We have seen some cases that, in my subjective opinion, that Father Llewellyn act conveniently. One of such cases, I always speak about it, would be the Patrick Bailey case. Why today, and even as we speak, Paula Lumelin have that case out there, and we are here, we, are, we have heard time and time again, we are Paula Lumelin brought that the Constitution give her the ultimate power to start a case, to stop a case, and to dismiss a case. Now, in a case like Patrick Bailey, we are a number three committee. And Paula Lowellin is seeking justice. Right? Because the card to her. Seeking justice as it relates to Lizard. So then, I mean, the situation with Paul with, with um, Patrick Bailey, are you not seeking justice? Right for the victim? Okay. So let us go to the next clip because I want to know if she's not seeking justice, right, for the victim. All right. Let us play this other clip. One second. I think it's going to sharing. Mark Golden accused Paula Llewellyn of delaying action on the SSL case and that she is dragging her feet. So Mark Golden is frustrated over lack of information. Paula Llewellyn respond to Mark Golden and said she is placing importance of accuracy over speed in the investigation and asserts her office independence in assessing cases. 
Honorable Usain Bolt is scammed out of billions of Jamaican dollars and Paula Llewellyn does not realize that the impact of such a financial crime is profound on the country's economy and its citizens. We need swift, decisive action from Paula Llewellyn and, and legal authorities. The public outcry demanding justice must be heard. When Jamaican icons like Usain Bolt are affected, there needs to be legitimate expectation for authorities to expedite the investigation and prosecution execution process to deliver justice and restore confidence in Jamaica's financial system. Okay, so then, let me ask. So, Paula Llewellyn has no interest in Ethertel, has no interest in Patrick Bailey. So then, doesn't that seem like Father Llewellyn only executing the law conveniently. That's what it seems to me. Now, I'm going to show you a case that it is just unbelievable. But before I show this case, we are going to go back to the situation with Kevin Smith. Just showing you history and Father Llewellyn behavior. Now, Kevin Smith committed his atrocity in St. James. And so then that crime was done within the jurisdiction of the St. James Authority, which, which, which they are the police. Right? So then, of course, it is St. James. Right, our era one police crime scene jurisdiction. They have jurisdiction over that and should be the authority to charge Kevin Smith. But, people, let me play this and show you what happened now. We all know what happened to Kevin Smith, so let us go back in a little history showing you as it relates to Paula Llewellyn behavior. Pastor Kevin Smith dies in car crash. <laughs> Teach them! Pathways International Kingdom Restoration Ministries. Bishop Kevin Smith died following a motor vehicle accident along Church Road in the vicinity of the Lindsay Bypass on Monday morning, October 25th. Smith was pronounced dead at 10.38 a.m. at the Linted Hospital, along with one police officer. Two other policemen who sustained injuries are reportedly in critical condition and remains unconscious up to press time. So we're able to confirm that a member of the Jamaica Constabular Force lost his life in a motor vehicle accident this morning. What we know so far that two vehicles were traveling to Kingston, taking two, the two suspects from St. James in the incident last week involving the church leader and another member. They were taking them to the major investigation division in Kingston to be formally charged. About 9.30, we understand that there was an accident resulting in one of the vehicle overturning. That's the vehicle that um, Sir Kevin Simit was a passenger in. At the end of it, he sustained serious injuries and he was taken to the Lincid Hospital where he was pronounced dead by the doctor on duty. The three constables that were in the vehicle with him, one of them was pronounced dead at the Spanish Town Hospital. The other two are in critical condition and as we speak, they are currently undergoing treatment. So we are here now hoping that they make a full recovery, but their injuries are considered very serious. 39-year-old Smith, who was due to be charged today with the murder of two... Now my question, where was Kevin Smith? removed 
from the area as it relates to the police jurisdiction where the crime scene had committed to go to Kingston to be formally charged. Why? <laughs> Why? Now, the other question. The death of Kevin Smith. Could it be a situation that someone want to silence Kevin Smith? Think of it, people. What did Kevin Smith know that the system, as it seems, could not allow Kevin Smith to pass through the judiciary? Where Kevin Smith would have a moment to speak. Was it a situation that Kevin Smith needs to be silent? The reason why we are asking these questions goes back to the original question. The crime committed in St. James. And so then should be angled by St. James police officers who have the authority within the jurisdiction for the reason that Paul Lovelin stand Paul Lovelin, the PPP that you have never seen that before, never seen that before. Paul Lovelin and her instruction. instruction to remove Kevin Smith from St. James to carry to Kingston to have him charged. And in the process of doing so, Kevin Smith end up died. Think of it, people. Think of it. Now, I am going to correct someone's behavior. And, you know, this person spreading all sorts of propaganda over social media. Yeah, some lackeys believing. And you have some lackeys believing him. And so then it is important for us to show people the truth. Now, this gentleman, right, spreading propaganda as it relates to People's National Party is the cause of FinSAC people. I want people to listen to what I'm saying. You know, because coming Friday, we are going to connect FinSAC straight into SSL. Now, let me say this. We of the Jamaica Labour Party completed the FinSAC report. And let me ask a question. Now, the GLP want to hear the findings. They have the findings. Why they don't re uh, release the report? Why don't they, why, why they don't release the report? Because what I spoke about as it relates to the WikiLeaks cable, right? They don't want people to see that. That FinSA is Jamaica Labour Party crime, right? FinSA caused by Dan Crawford and Edward Philip Judge Siaga, Paul Cheng Young, and you Cross Kerry. The syndicate, the syndicate from that time. So try to come in. I am going to connect the dot for the people. And so then FinSA used to carry down the People's National Party, damaging the financial sector. So then what people need to understand, let me say it now clear tonight, that SSL is FinSA 2.0, used again by the CM set of people to carry down the financial sector. That's what they do. That's what they do. So SSL is 
Pinsack 2.0. The same set of people who responsible for SSL are the same set of people responsible for Pinsack, with the exception of Siaga because he, um, he died. Same set of people. Same set of people. So tell them to release the FinSAC report. So let me correct. You understand? Some of the vloggers, them who are, some of the GLP vloggers, them who are ignorant and them just last. Right? So let, let us play this clip and hear this murder here. You understand? And I, I'm going to slap him with the evidence in his face. So without any further ado, let us lift up this clip. So killing, so killing was the only answer JLP have at the time. So when 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 them bondong when PNP bondong blood clot even tied home was that that was the only thing they could have do. Hmm? Hmm? When PNP care how much dozen man from blood clot Green Bay from from Southside go Green Bay go kill them was that the only thing they could have thought of. Eh? When Portia Simpson and, 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 and Tony Spalding burn out the whole of Bumbo Clad, um, um, Dela Cree Park and, 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 um, and Pienland and burn out the whole of Blood Clad Majestic Garden and kill much people, was that the only thing they could have done? Fuck off and come off from a page of the hypocrisy and move your blood clad there, man. Take that bush rat away. I am going to correct that bush bush rat. everything that that what what that what that bush rat said you understand is definitely lies and this is what this is the jamaica labor party mo don't believe that he doesn't know that these things that he that he said they are lies he knows that they are lies but this is how glp work you understand their crime that they have done right they put it on their opponent, their political opponent, right? Put it on their political opponent. That's a political strategy. So FINSA, that is a Jamaican Labour Party crime. Okay, all right. They fashion it and try to put it on the People's National Party. But if you notice, they have no evidence to show. So with him, Mr. Rusty, speaking, but like have any evidence to show people listen to the evidence and the evidence that i am giving it is the evidence from the cia hear me people the evidence that i am giving right is not some mainstream media we are talking about evidence interview done by right popular journalists Journal, um, journalist, right? And where also the CIA involvement. So without any further ado, let me play that clip. Wolf had to say, and we'll let you comment ever so often on, on this, okay? What in the years that you've been publishing it do you think are some of your most significant revelations? Are there some stories that even shocked you? Well, I think one of the big stories that we were able to document in some detail was the, the, the whole scope of CIA activities similar to what the CIA did in Chile, and which was documented by the Senate Select Committee, was the... Uh, whole covert action program in Jamaica in uh, between 1976 and 1980 and we were we did a great deal of research into that and we discovered uh, many in many ways a very similar program almost a classic model that was followed along the lines of, of what they did in Chile uh, including three major categories uh, military paramilitary activity 
the use of propaganda in the in the media, uh, and the third one, which was economic warfare, using uh, the multilateral organizations, the International Monetary Fund, and others to withhold loans which had been promised to the Jamaican government. Uh, this is one example. What are a couple uh, more of the details of that? You particularly mentioned those first two examples of actual paramilitary activity well, the CIA was involved in in Jamaica. There was a fire, for example, that took place uh, in Jamaica of an old people's home. Uh, uh, I think 150 old and infirmed women, many of them blind, were living in this home. And uh, as it turned out, the, the place burned down in the space of about eight minutes, seven or eight minutes. Um, it was discovered that the phone wires had been cut and that uh, the exits had all been blocked. Even those who could see their way out could not get out. Um, and uh, that the means by which the fire was set was the use of a petroleum jelly, which was unavailable in Jamaica. This was one indication, among others, that there was outside help. Uh, why the would, this, this, why uh, would uh, the CIA, you might ask, why mm -hmm. would the CIA mm -hmm. want to uh, right. murder 150 old women? It was because it was an effort, part of a very large-scale effort, to discredit the government in Jamaica, which was at the time uh, uh, headed by Michael Manley, the Prime Minister. Uh, there were images produced of Michael Manley in the uh, media, in the Daily Gleaner, which was the newspaper which the United States, uh, through the CIA, helped to support. Uh, and there is a good deal of evidence of that. There were images of Michael Manley showing a death mask. I mean, it was his face which had been somehow made to look like a death mask, although it was pretending to be a, a photograph of him. Um, and there were many ways to try and discredit him. This is very, very similar, in fact, to what the CIA did to try and discredit uh, Salvador Allende in Chile. If you remember, uh, Richard Nixon instructed the CIA in a meeting, uh, which was in 1970, in the White House. And there was a, a document in the Senate com report, which is reprinted, and he said, make the economy scream. Those were his words. And that's, of course, what the CIA proceeded to do in Chile, and that's what uh, they also did in Jamaica. They also had furnished uh, a lot of munitions and assistance to the terrorist squads that were going around killing people in the, in the cities and also in the countryside in Jamaica as well. That's correct. Well, John, you had a trip down to Jamaica, and you saw a lot of these things about Jamaica with your own eyes, right? Yes, indeed. I, uh, a very moving, a very interesting trip to me to see uh, a target country at a time in the height of a CIA operation when I was completely outside. So there's no way that I could see. To see the problem that journalists have always had when the U.S. government was targeting on a country in a situation, trying to destabilize it, overthrow or manipulate the elections or whatever, of trying to figure out what's going on when you don't have access to all of the flow of cables and the discussions and National Security Council meetings and whatnot for the planning. I observed that from published information, the CIA state. All right. Yes. Um, so big up aromatic. You understand blessings and people remember to put um, aromatic, right? Um, general in the army, same way. Those were very dark days in Jamaica, Jenny. Jenny, let me say this to you. That is one of the reasons why, Jenny, when I say I don't support capitalism, democratic socialism, people need to understand the importance, right, of democratic socialism versus capitalism, right? Because capitalism engineered as it relates to when we talk about neocolonialism, right, in terms of the protection of the wealth that coming way back in colonial times through slavery, that, you know, a lot of these companies now, right, if you trace back their wealth, connected back to colonial times. And so then, um, and so then, 
we are seeing. I'm sorry. We have seen a situation. Yes, we have seen a situation where the Jamaica Labour Party, right, had crippled democratic socialism. Crippled democratic socialism. Right? Why did Edward Philip George Siaga? Spread the propaganda on Michael Manley. That's the question that people need to ask. What, what was the main reason for Edward Philip George Siaga to spread the propaganda that Michael Manley is going communist? That's why people need to do their research. If people research it, the primary reason for Edward Siaga to, be, to have done that was to the fact that Russia and Cuba and United States were active as it relates to the missile crisis. Seven years prior that Siaga launched this propaganda, knowing that United States gathered intelligence that Russia is sending short-range missile ballistic launcher to Cuba. And where, right, United States need to intercept it. And so then, that was a bitter thing in terms of Russia being communist, right, Cuba communist, and then Edward Philip George Siaga used that, right, to spread the propaganda that Michael Manley is going communist. And so then, that is going to trigger United States. What Siaga had done with the CIA also was to work with the CIA as you hear, as you heard it from the CIA operatives. You understand? To cut the loans from the IMF that was supposed to be given to Jamaica. And so then Jamaica did not get the full loan. Jamaica got half of it because Siaga was working. Look here. Edward Philip George Siaga is vicious, is vicious, and likewise Andrew Ornett, who is more vicious. Um, let me just take the call with Arrow. Yes, yes, my general, big up yourself. Blessed, blessed, blessed. Blessings. Man, guess what? Arrow. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Yes. Repeat. Oh, repeat no. that information. Can you cut out? Repeat. Yeah, Mister Melov, when you want them and come, them in the head when them push up the the Nazi cell. Yeah, man, them to get come. <laughs> yeah, because when things come with oil and that is peer propaganda. Peer propaganda. No peer propaganda, but the thing about it, what me tell us, we have them beat them and we them beat them hard. Them just black up them more, but we come and we bring the receipt. Exactly. We come and we bring the receipt. Exactly. That clip that why you, that clip that why you just show a while ago with the man them from in at the same US here do a documentary and they tell you what CIA that joined with the CIA and do Michael Mann the administration. The JLP should have run under a bed and on the eye. Exactly. We say, brother. Them should I run under the bed and the eye. And as I, and as I listen uh, this evening and I listen you talk about Paula Lully and the young man that called earlier on, and yeah, tell the young man, say, Jamaica problem right now is the DPP. Exactly. It's the DPP who is not prosecuting these criminals in Jamaica. You understand what I said? That is our big problem. That's but our major problem. About, yeah, you speak about Kevin Simmons. Kevin, Kevin Smith did a crime in Montego Bay. Why was Kevin Smith bringing to Kingston to charge? That is the question that people and need to answer. Bring, then why would you bring him into a private car? Madness, my brother. Why would you bring him into a private car? What are they covering up? Arrow. Covering up. What are they covering up? Who is they covering for? Because this man 
have a lot of people secret and they feel that he's going to spill it. Touch back again with Reverend Arville Moore. What did Reverend Arville Moore know? All right. <laughs> what did he know? Fire arrow. Fix Bailey to, to come out and say the man drive over one clip and I'm dead and then come out for hang himself and kill himself again. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, a joke, Mr. Arrow. A real joke, Mr. The Nala Arrow, a real joke. Hey, Arrow, them really take Jamaican people for that, you know? Trust me. The man, the man, them take with the clone, man. The man, them take with the eager. But I'm ju I, I just glad your platform is around. You know what I mean? My platform is around. Thank you. And that's the reason why I tell you, sir, what you do. Nobody else do what Carlos do. All right. Nobody else do what Will Don some do. Nobody else do what aromatic do. So a mystic sensation has its purpose. Because on a night like tonight, it's only mystic sensation could find a reporter like that become come and ask the yes, dread day night. What do you mean? You understand what I'm saying, my brother? You have to slap them in the outer line, man. As you were saying, about the missile crisis you understand and 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 the um cuba is communist and russia right and they claim that michael manley was going to team with cuba but nothing like that nothing like remember that what, remember what the the, 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 the the significant of capitalism and neo-colonialism exactly the fbi the cia Remember, you know, they deploy in every third world country you know, to suppress that economy. That's what they do. I don't know if people know that. Yes. In most in every third world country, the CIA deploy. And what they do, they work with a side of people to keep that economy down because they want all the natural resources from those third world countries to come in the, in the first world to come and build them up. Arrow. So Arrow. Well, on the Arrow. Side, Arrow, I want to repeat that, you know, because you see what you said is 100% facts. Because, and that's why Friday, you know, is it Friday? Me and you go burn up the place Friday, you know. Please, I go hot Friday. What you said, I want you to repeat what you just said. So we um, continue to educate. Yeah, man, we sent the, 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 um, the CIA, the Central Intelligence Agent. They deploy them all over the third world country to depress those economy because they want all the natural resources out of those countries to come in the first world to build them to continue with the neo-colonialism so that they manipulate every country you have to look to them they tell you how to spend every dollar when they lend you so at all times they must squeeze you and you have to just be in line because when you look at it the money thing you know Byron is the slave, slave thing them kind of have you under when you're born from them. Exactly. They release the chain, you know, but them use the money, I you know, you know, and they, and they, and they, and they, and they choke you <laughs> because I am going to tell you how to spend, how to use it. So people need to know that. Yes. So at that, when them join with Siaga, and on a good friend, I really, you know, them want, you know, but them, I look away, or if he come in, and off he squeezed the Jamaican economy. Michael Mann was not going to do that. So they said, all right, we'll be carrying Seattle from Boston, Massachusetts, and, and, and send him down there, and then we go work with him. Them sign a deal, and them start work. When the nuclear thing come in, he just throw gas to the fire and jump on the side. And that's it. Yes, and start spreading around Jamaica with the PSOJs and the wall of them. And starts the Michael Manley go bring communists. Every newspaper in Jamaica start run with Seattle and everybody. And Manley alone stand alone. But one thing the general did not do, the general never bow. Him died and he never bow. Never bow. Him died and he never bow. Him died and he never bow. And Jamaican people have need to know that. That's why I tell everybody say, don't tell me about JLP and PNP is the same. When you watch Byron, Leo, them thing, when you watch me talk, and then you go come back home say, you are being repairable. I cannot deal with you. Exactly, you my brother. Sentimental dunce. I cannot deal with you, brother. 
There is no scale. There is no comparison. It's not even close, my brother. Not even close. When you watch what the man go through and what the man did, the foundation, what the man lay out, you do the song, all right, my people, Banya. My father, Banya. It's not just a song, but people need to know that. I know they like it and they like yes. it and they like it too. But people must know that was accomplishment under the General Michael Mandy. Everything in that song was accomplishment. Yes. It's not just rhyme and you listen and you rock. Those were accomplishment under the General Michael Mandy. So how can you tell me that the two parties are the same? No, brother, you have an ulterior motive when you are trying to tell me that, brother. I have exactly. no problem with you and your ulterior motive, but don't tell me that they are the same because there is no comparison, my brother. No comparison is there. You know that. And I know that. And Definitely. I'm simply sketching on. Definitely. So as I said, as I said to you, my brother, I'm gonna go back, kick back. What you show because I am in your class. All right. <laughs> to learn and educate myself. But I just I just have to reach out and tell you say yes. Yeah. Like oh, you come in and see us in our face. I mean man. <laughs> forget and forget come and forget come caro. Yes, man, if you get come, man. All right. And that's that say so, yeah. Bless up yourself and bless up the, the queen. Blessings. And man at the viewers and subscribers. All right. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, All right. And now, um, let me show you to the people as it relates to the level of wickedness, the level of cruelty that the JLP orchestrated. Bless up my brethren, uh, Mystic Sensation, live, go ahead. Ah. Uh, Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm bush rat, man. Bush rat. Because if him know Labour Party doing fever ancestor, they were we were we were here by the head. You would have never come from public, come nowhere. I won't be about that. I'm telling you, Labour Party. I'm telling you. But you see, that's why. That's why when we when that's why they don't want we to be educated. No. Uh, because once we're educated, we'll be able to chop the, the steps. Exactly. So that we can make an informed decision today. Thank you. We don't know who. We don't know who. I'm going to be the mind for the Jamaica Labour Party. The Jamaica Labour Party has never done anything good for Jamaica yet. But why somebody tell me something the Labour Party do? You're actually the Prime Minister come out with a budget speech that tell you, say, all in the in a parliament, the year changes when did they? A copy, a copy of a PAP legacy. Exactly. The bank won't believe that the country say you don't have no idea. Mark Golden. <laughs> Bring up your idea. I can't go give you the best baby father. <laughs> Can you imagine? That country we said them out of our own country. Crazy. Crazy. Don't be sick, man. Tell me, tell you. Sick. Tell me, tell me, say, yes, a funny way, whatever, carry it in the pond. But tell me, say, if you got trim. Yeah, man, if you got even if you trim, man, you say, one bush like that. <laughs> All right, Charlie. All right. Bless it, bless it, my brother. All right. Okay. So, um, people, I want to show that we are not just going to right have um the CIA operative. You understand? Just poke on the matter and just leave it. We want to go into the details and see the velocity of the wickedness. That JP had done. That Edward Philip George Siaga had done. And you know, one of the wickedest things that he himself came out and confessed the lies. 
but it was pretty too late because his life has damaged and hurt several people. Now, we want to go. Huh? Hurt the nation. Hurt nation. We want to go right into the greener now and see what happened to the eventide home as it relates to what that gentleman has, um, that bush rat. You understand, talking about where he has no form of awareness. You understand, of the culprit, the party that he defended are the same culprit. You understand that execute these people, executed these people. The party that he is defending, that Bushrat is defending, you understand, is the party that executed these people. Now, let us lift up. Okay, um, make it two hundred percent. Make sure that they are seeing it and reading it. Two hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. So this published Wednesday, May twenty, two thousand and twenty. Right. Um, the Eventide Home Fire Monument at National Heroes Park, Kingston. More than one hundred and forty people died. In the May 20, 1980, blaze on Slipen Road. This is the ultimate cruelty as it relates to how JLP cripples the nation. The haunting tragedy of the even time home fire 40 years ago today, which claimed the lives of at least 153 destitute and elderly women. Look at who the mayhem carry out against. Still symbolizes weaknesses in Jamaica's care of citizens who can no longer do it for themselves. Advocates have said, yes, let us say never again in terms of the act itself. But are we still warehousing older people? Yes, argued Dr. Pet, uh, Peter Ann Baker, a social development specialist. To some, Full accountability for the ghastly event remains outstanding, even though a coroner's jury, after 17 minutes of deliberation on May 5th, 1981, declared that no one was criminal responsible for the deaths. People, what I want you to make note of that in May 5th, 1981, the Jamaica Labour Party government now was in power. They know that they are the ones who did it. And this is what they declared. So, people, I want you to see this. Let me read it over for you. So, 1980, Tiaga, you understand, brewed forcefully with his lies and propaganda. You understand? Um, defeat Michael Manley with his propagandism. Right? And after all the wickedness that he had done, his government, this is what his government now is saying. So let me read it back. To some, full accountability for the ghastly events remains outstanding, even though a coroner's ju jury, after 17 minutes of deliber deliberation on May 5th, 1981, and the Siaga government now declared that no, that, no, that no one was criminally responsible for the deaths. People, you know what? You're wicked than this. Take this away. When it comes to hundred percent pure evil, you know, and so then when I see Nigel Clark pushing out budget speech, let me get, let, let, let me go freestyle. When I see Nigel Clark. Right, student parliament articulating his theatrics. his theatrics and it's poison. I laugh because Nigel Clark ought to know, ought to know that Bruce Golden tenure 
between 2007 to 2011 had wrecked Jamaica economy. Wreck it. Right? And we have the evidence. So you know how we were. And so then when Bruce Golden wrecked that economy between 2007 and 2011, and on the corruption index, Bruce Golden led government hit the lowest, the lowest of our law on the corruption index. Remember what Bruce Golden had done after getting intelligence from the United States as it relates to a particular individual that involved the pardon to United States corruption. Him, Bruce Golden, the Prime Minister. Listen to what happened. Listen to what happened. Bruce Golden being the Prime Minister of Jamaica. Having this intelligence from the United States. Regarding an extradition process. But instead of Bruce Golden, we are the previous government that signed that agreement with the US as it relates to extradition. Prior to clause around the contractual, contractual agreement with the previous government, with the United States. I don't know, say so United States, you know, the monkey business. Right? And so then, what he had done, because guess what? It involved persons that the Jamaica Labour Party affiliated with. And as such, what happened? He communicated, the Prime Minister communicated the intelligence to the subject. In question, the Prime Minister communicated the intelligence to the subject in question. Now, I heard a lot of people talking about P.J. Patterson divested here Jamaica. P.J. Patterson divested this and divested that and everything. That's why I said, if you understand Jamaica Labour Party, they always take their sins and try to cover you with it, cover your opponent with it. So anytime you hear the Jamaica Labour Party accusing you of a crime, they are the ones who, do, who, who have done it. They are the ones who have done it. Now, what, what happened as it relates to that situation, right, caused Jamaica, right, to hit the corruption index, the lowest of the law. Bruce Bolin owned that on the corruption index. The history is there to prove. I have the evidence. Now, apart from that, Bruce Bolin and the IMF, right, in terms of the deal with the IMF, the IMF, right, signed on on a deal with Bruce Golden, the austerity measures imply, but guess what? Bruce Golden did not honor, right? Those agreements sets out as it relates to the International Monetary Fund. That within itself, let me give people history, crippled Jamaica, so when you hear Nigel Clark in a parliament that shut off him out, and I give red card. You understand? One of them red card if you give to Bruce Golden. You know, let me talk to you. You're coming out, Nigel Clark. Let me teach you history. Because obviously, you don't know history. You don't know your history. So let me just curve you up a bit. You understand? And give you my first red card. So you have to remember, Nigel Clark, that Bruce Golden damaged the economy. 
damage the economy. Now, it takes time as it relates to what before Bruce Golden, that Bruce Golden have to resign as it relates to the antics he performed giving information to the subject. Right? And which it is embarrassing for the government after that was discovered. And then he was forced to resign. That is the reason why Bruce Golden resigned. We in advance, Byron, and a lot of people know what happened in Michael time, JP, but playing dumb and can't speak the truth. All these things I know about them while growing up. My grandfather showed me a lot and opened my eyes. Yes, Wayne, and you're right. So then let us move on. So when Portia Simpson and Dr. Peter Phillips, right, took over the country to fix the situation that Bruce Golden had done. And then not only that, Bruce Golden divests so many things, 60%, more than 60% of Jamaican assets. Divested by Bruce Gold. More than the so let me open more big on top. It's Nigel Clark. No understand that. More than 60 at percent, including um here in Jamaica, right? And other place, places being divested by Bruce Golden. So just imagine the economy that Portia Simpson had gotten, right? And Peter Phillips has to fix. And so then, of course, Mama Portia Simpson, Peter Phillips, right, has to articulate and maneuver, right, skillfulness that apply by Peter Phillips and get back the IMF and board. What Portia Simpson had to do as it relates to the austerity measures by the IMF put us under tremendous pressure was to now start to deal with wage freeze because the loan has to pay back. We have to fix Jamaica. Portia Simpson, right? And Peter Phillips. Fix that for Jamaica. Put Jamaica and a corridor and so that Andrew Holness and Nigel Clark can stand up in a parliament now and talking about surplus. You tell me, Nigel Clark, you are the you are the algorithm man. I want you to tell me, Nigel Clark, which green can come forward without the seed being planted. You've heard me correctly. Which tree can come forward without the seed being planted? Which home can build without the foundation center? You tell me, Nigel Clark. Get up on a table. Oh, 40 years of this. And we are the first government days and government that bit of bullshit and theatrics we are carry off with. That's not how to give Mark Golden a time for, um, um, for rebut. But she should take it to the street and rebut. Right? Him. But Mark Golden, and that's why Friday, we are run up on your Friday and show you the evidence. And as a matter of, you know what? Me not going to go wait until Friday. Hold on, hold on. I want people to show. I mean, hold on. Because if you want me to talk, me even that, but I go wait until Friday. Me just go, let me just get back, um, get in a mind thing, yeah, and my wifey bring up something. I show John Public say, when, 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 when you hear Nigel Clark come out with them theatrics, you understand me, I say, let me teach Nigel Clark some lesson here. Let me, let me, let me just go for this, right? Because when we talk, so we have evidence, you know, you understand. We have evidence. We don't speak without evidence. Right? Bring up this document. Bring up my thing and bring up this document. Yes. Okay. When we attack, when we are going to defend this thing here, right? 
Now what Nigel Clark supposed to be talking about? That all the tax that he has collected between his period and now. You know, let me warm your eyes. Let me warm Jamaican eyes. All the tax that you have collected between 2016 until now, Nigel Clark, tell Jamaican people that your gov government have stolen every dime. People know you owe me a thing. You think that you owe me a thing? Tell the Jamaican people that your government has stolen every dime. So then you make no progress because your government has stolen every dime. So let me bring up this document and show people. I'm mean, not ramp for you now. You think I'm going to pass it? Yeah, man, I'm mean, not ramp for you now. When me hear all of me, Jan Jan call me and tell me, say, I had a hot hour because she listened to the, um, um, the budget debate. I hear Nigel Clark go on and a thing, red, red, um, um, red card. Come, Nigel Clark, you can contact me, red card. Yeah. Red card was a warning to the nation to pay attention to what you understand? Because we'll be on toast. Exactly. See, you, you, come the, you, you come contact me, Mystic Sensation, red card. Bring up the document. You, you can contact um, the Sixth Sensation Red Card, the Red Card where you have in the Parliament. You can contact the Red Card. Yeah. Where you have Red Card. But peek about, you think you know you peek about. Well, come with a peek about, yeah. Peek <laughs> you come with a peek about, yeah. But you peek about. You have to tell the people I'm going to go on. Um, and, and, and show you. You understand? How we can show up and set the platform for you. Jamaica passes eight IMF tests posted by Abka Fitz Enley, 16 June 2015. Watch out. Let me scroll it down. All right. The executive board of the International Monetary Fund has confirmed that Jamaica has passed the eight consecutive tests under the four-year extended fund facility program. This development means the IMF will disburse 40 billion US dollars million to Jamaica. In a press release issued this morning, the IMF is also lauding plans by the Simpson Miller administration to achieve sustained enough economic growth. Right? Lauding the plan, the IMF, you understand, they congratulate them. The finance minister, Dr. Peter Phillips, announced last week that he expects a positive review from the fund today. More good news for the country's economy. You hear that? You hear that, Nigel Clark? An executive summary posted this morning on the website of the IMF stated all performance criteria have been met by Jamaica. You hear that, Nigel Clark? The only exception being the primary surplus balance, which was narrowly missed. According to Washington, based multilateral, the potential for the Jamaican economy to grow in a sustained way is gradually improving. So when you throw a word from portion, I talk about nothing of a rare, rare, blah, blah. You hear what the IMF said? The IMF has said this. We now hear from you. Number two, the prospect for crucial investment being secured. Do you hear that? The prospect for crucial investment being secured. You hear that, Nigel Clark? Okay. The IMF statement is projecting that the country's economy will grow about 2% this fiscal year. According to the IMF, this prediction is buffered by the fact that the full year impact of lower oil prices and improvement from last year drought are beginning to materialize. An improvement in the business climate is also being noted. The fund says reduced oil prices are expected to set inflation down faster than previously anticipated. Full marks are also being, and let me tell the people then, this is when we hook up with Venezuela and of the street art deal people, Jamaica not have the deal there again. Because Andrew Oles, what, what, what in your name, God? David No, Andrew Oles. Andrew Oles, what next name, God? <laughs> Andrew Oles, Mr. Bramwell. Andrew Oles, Mr. Bramwell. Right? Now, 
Now, put up on this, people. Full marks are also being given to the Simpson Miller administration for implementation of its economic reform agenda, which the IMF said remain in good standing. Finance Minister Dr. Peter Phillips and his technocrats have been consistently criticized. People, want to hear this now. Want to hear this. I want to hear this. Because although Posa Simpson go on good and Peter Phillips are go on good, the Jamaican Labour Party, they are shame, then shame. You understand? Go to run propaganda. Hear what I want to say now. Finance Minister Dr. Peter Phillips and his technocrats have been consistently criticized by the parliament opposition for failing to craft and implement a credible plan to grow Jamaica economy in a significant way. But the IMF disagree. The IMF say, Uno Gue, Uno a liar. Uno no plan. See that the IMF disagree. Check with the document. Check with the document. Right? Which one at Uno Vendor when? Portia Simpson. You understand? Go to China. Make deal, right? Deal with IV. I don't want to know, cover on itself and I make it look like say. You understand? I want to come up with deal, I want to come up with IV. Even I do, it is clear that in 2000, Andrew Wallace is not in a power. If we don't mind sharp, if we don't mind sharp, Andrew Wallace is saying, start IV 2000. This is crazy, remember? This is crazy, people. Ransford McLean, Mystics, I would like to hear your views on the recent demolition of farm by the oppressors. I want, I want to put a football. Yeah, look here. That is that is the act of cruelty. Right? The act of cruelty. Right? And this is it, you know. Right? In terms of what this particular government is doing. Now remember, when we talk about Michael Manley and democratic socialism, right? One of Michael Manley, right, loved project was the NHT. Was the NHT. Right? And so then, Michael Manley believed that, okay, for persons to begin the wealth journey, two things have to happen. Two things. Let me talk to people right now. For any person to begin the journey of wealth, two things that need to be achieved. The first, education. Second, having a home for yourself. Having a home for yourself. And Michael Manley believed in that so much. Hence, that is the reason why Michael Manley, right, definitely installed the NHT. Let me say this to you people. Michael Manley also created Jamal for those persons who gone beyond the school period. You understand? There's a place for them as it relates to Jamal institution to go back and get the basic skills so that they can help themselves. Because Michael Manley believes in educating us, democratic socialism. Capitalism don't believe that. The principle of capitalism is not to see black people progress. Right? You have heard earlier what aromatic said, which is true. Right? And so then, you have seen the effort that Stiaga had utilized to damage democratic socialism because he knew very well that democratic socialism is a win-win-win. He couldn't have stopped that. But what he had done, the wickedness and the viciousness, is to create such life that Michael Manley was going communist. And so we have seen the end of democratic socialism. But it lived on. Because P.J. Patterson carried the message. Shared the message with Portia Simpson. And with Portia Simpson shared that message with Mark Golden. And here today, we are defending democratic socialism. True. 
my Mark Golden. And we are going to defend Mark Golden. Right? In every section that we can defend Mark Golden. Now, when we talk about honesty and integrity, Mark Golden has that. Good governance, Mark Golden has that. We don't have to ask if we can trust Mark Golden. Because Mark Golden had performed the task in terms of installing the Integrity Commission Act. And when Mark Golden did that, Jamaica advanced on the corruption index. Now I have seen Andrew Honest is talking about. GLP, you understand, maintain 44 on the corruption index. Andrew Wallace, you need to tell the people why it was. It, it happened as a result of Mark Golden drafted the Integrity Commission Act, which you, you, Andrew Wallace, want to crush. You want to cripple the act and make it look like the, intelligence, um, the Integrity Commission people, they don't know what they're doing. Right? Now, when we talk about illicit enrichment, as a Prime Minister, let us get back there now. As a Prime Minister, you've ventured in, the, you've ventured in politics, right? At a very early age. No other politician, Andrew, if you never know, not one in the history of Jamaica had so-called achieved what you have achieved. And when you are sending out a statutory declaration of you just have 165 million, you know that it is a callous lie. You know that it is a callous lie. Because as it relates to the level of wealth, you are in the billions of dollars. And you know that you cannot verify that, certify that. So then you couldn't tell the Integrity Commission, let me, let me, I need Jamaican people to understand what is going on. You couldn't speak the truth, Andrew, and tell the Integrity Commission that your wealth is in the billions of dollars. Because obviously, you just cannot give account as it relates to your illicit enrichment. Right? So then in 2019, when you give the statutory declaration to be $165 million, let me remind you, Andrew Wallace, let me remind you, when you think that Nigel can go talk up in our um, parliament for, me, for let us forget this, let me tell you something. Me, they tell yourself, you can't win the general election. You cannot win the general election. Now, when you, in 2019, give a statutory declaration to be $165 million, let me remind you, Andrew. Your house in Beverly Hills, that value at least $200 million. So I already write this up. I already write this up. You're in a variance. Right? Of $35 million, right? They say you're in a variance. And while in 2012 that you were doing that, your wife was constructing building. Right? That no value. $800 million. So then, I don't know them Jamaican, they who want to follow you. Right now, who want to support your wrongdoing. doing it. But obviously, down to the, down to the blind can't see that. Obviously, Ray Charles can't see that. Obviously, Stevie Wonder can't see that. That what you are giving this, what you are giving as Julia to the Integrity Commission, your statutory declaration. This cannot be verifiable. So 
coming March 31st, let me tell you people. You are due again to submit your statutory declaration. Jamaican people, it's not going to be verified. And you only statutory declaration for March 31st is not going to be verified. Now, yeah, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, Juliet. And as the people want to talk about Mark want to use this gender thing, obviously, that's a lie. And that's what you people do, right? Try to reflect and deflect and do all of your manner of wrongdoing to cover up your sins. The obvious situation is, destruction. right? Is the projection of distractions that you are filtering out. So then let me ask, Juliet, know that the Auditor General recent those reports to you. We are anticipating for them to be tabled. Right? So then, we want Nigel Clark to give you the red card debt. Right? We want Nigel Clark to prepare the red card debt for you. So all the first time that want Nigel Clark a promise, this time promise that. And I know the trial bridge cannot be fixed. I want to know when going to get the money there. Then come out and think, promise this and that. None of that can help you, and, um, Nigel Clark. Not, none of that can help you. So rest assured, the argument is that you need to focus on and the red cards that you have Prepare to issue them to yourself and other persons who found to be corrupted. SSL needs to be explained on people Friday. We are going to connect the FinSAC. You understand? And the SSL should to show you right the travesty of the wickedness and the evil that every time Jamaica moving forward. Jamaica Labour Party, you understand, with a set of elites decided that, okay, all right, the country will grow, you understand, make we eat it, I feel, I feel we food this. And push back Jamaica, right, in a suffering situation. Pinter, a GLP crime. SFL is Pinter 2.0. And we are going to explain it Friday. So, yes, folks, I think, you know, on Tuesday, right, my time is limited. And so then this is not Friday. Friday, you know, so we have the pack of ingredients to throw out. So, again, yes, I want you to pass through Friday, right? And, you know, this is it. So this is it for us. On a Tuesday, right? Spending, you know, um, an hour or two um, with, of course, our lovely subscribers. So let me just um, rest on um, if people want so to call. The number is um, screaming right? across. The number is um, screaming across. Anything that you have to say, let us um, do that. If so, then, you know, that is it for us on a Tuesday. All right. Anything else? Uh, which blue? What that the this radio of the parliament which is now which is mama? Which which is blue? Oh, which is blue, sir? What a dish <laughs> what a dish radio act in parliament, which is now the kitchen, but you want backyard of the holiness holinesses. The people needs to block that parliament door and door and how that disgusting woman inside. And a line up. Trust me. Uh, Carl said. Okay. Let's see what Carl said. Let's just bring it back up. I did respond. 
because they were even talking oh, about Carol, Mystic JP burning out mouth. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mystic the JP a top of Naris. Yeah. Mystic, the JP burning out mark. He's a white man. What did uh, they call they call Siaga? Exactly. <laughs> look, but he here, look here. Desperation is a thing, you know. And to the fact that they are desperate because they know that they are in trouble. And they know that we are looking forward to hear who the illicit six are. Right? Right now, I can tell you, Robert Montague is not comfortable. Let me, answer, let me answer this. Yes, Carla, you're on Mystic Sensation. Yo, good night, Baron. Good bless, night, up. Good bless, night. Up, bless up, bless uh, up. Blessings. Yeah, yeah. You have, you have an international classroom. Thank you. I believe it working. It's All working. right. Love the knowledge. Blessings. You, Blessings. you have no. This this man who call himself Rasto Kali for his program. Yeah. So, me a Rasta. I me hear him attack. Me feel like I'm kicking my face. <laughs> me tell you this. No man who call himself Rasta or who is Rasta for should be following the Jamaican Labour Party. I said this over and over and for them big again. Okay, they mix up. Yeah. I don't understand what they are going. Exactly. With, 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 with yeah, the Tara Gardens, Matter Karen. Right. I come from the DNC in Byron, from Buster and Shearer. When Rasta man walk on the road and him look up the road and him say, Two headlamps close that are the land rover. Remember the whole time police land rover there? Eh? Yes, yes. Then when you see that, when you see that up the road, as a rafter man, you have to start jump fence. Well, yes, that's true, my brother. Yard. True, but you're saying it's true. And some of the people, you can't go in them yard, you know, because they're going to point you out. The man says, see, there's the rafter man, they're going to the yard there. Eh? Yes. You understand? Those are the days we're coming from. True, true. I don't know if you know this, but Buster and Shira had them run out in Naya Bingi yard out of Kingston. You yeah. No Naya Bingi can't keep in a Kingston because them hear to hear the drums at night time. You understand? Look at that. Look at that. The officer used to complain about the drumming at night time, they can't deal with it. So when him attack, if you know him attack, say if you know which side in the pan, is it them in, in with Rastafari? Armies with them. No man, he's not Rastafari, man, he's a bushrod. I'm more sure. <laughs> bushrod more decent than him. If you if you attack the bushrod, you he might attack the back in anger and go to peace. Ne? Exactly. <laughs> so, no, no, okay. Women's man. No man, no man, it's a disgrace to Rastafari. Right? Lack knowledge bad, my brother. Lack knowledge is, bad. The thing is, the truth is there before him. Exactly. I don't know where I hide. No. I don't know. No, I don't know where I hide. The truth is there before him. So how him come talk, them things are like in your seat. I mean, how him they live in the sky? No worry. Yeah, you are, I mean. Where you come from? Trust no, me. This man is a disgrace to Rastafari. I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> All right. All the right. next thing now, this government I hear, everything them do, them start to show up. You see how Nigel like, a dance like ballerina in the house. Yes. Hey, I'm dancing, I'm dancing up. And I give out red card. Hey, man, man, red card. <laughs> Mola. Mola. The things I will forget about what I go on. Exactly. <laughs> Sick, eh? Exactly. No, them things them pull the wool over everybody. Yeah. Eh? We, we, I know someone we're hiding or it happened right before we and them things so we can't see. Like, crazy. Thing, go, man. Crazy. They, no, yeah. Can you imagine man the man them teeth back out of the taxi and then call him? Look here. Eh? And, and, I know the country is falling to disrepair. But, 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 that's why I that's why I spoke it in a, my armor, brother. All the tax that they collected, people must understand that they stole it. It is 1.7 yes. trillion dollars missing from our treasury. You know? 1.7 trillion dollars that they cannot, the Jamaican Labour Party cannot account it for. 
So everything we hear them are talk about, they must know that all the taxes that they have collected from our people during yes. their era, they have yes. stolen it. Yes. And the people Absolutely. need to know. They have stolen it. The people need to know, man. The people need to know, brother. I said, I'm glad the work on that, man. You see, you, we, and all of the other man, them ratty. Hey, I say, I want to go to a ratty program. When we are going to Jan, I come to a time about the PNP and the API, the same thing. No. Where do you come from? You know, those who talk like that, you know what I call it? Frustrated labor rights. <laughs> and you know, say, hold on, hold on. Yeah, you know, she said, you know, she said that, and trust me, you know, it won't seem like you're right, you know, because 95% of them affiliated with labor. Yes. Serious. Yes. I don't attitude that. They run and say them lose, but they don't want to pay for you. So they start to spread like a rumor of how Jemping could catch on, you know? Yeah. And I think, why are you talking about the same thing, you know? In a minute, say, say, who are you there? Because the same thing I get from one, you get from the other. Exactly. We know, so. we know that already. Because ah. it was the PNP that killed Jamaica. Exactly. So the only people who can set it is the PNP. Them get to the jail for how much time? Yes. Every time they get to them ruin it. They rub it. Rub it. Them thief, them and, money. and guess what? Yes. That's why Friday coming, I am running out to show people that because they are leading a, pop um, a propaganda talking about 18 years of failure. I am going to show people yeah. the 18 years, right? Yes. Of, I mean, love the policies. You understand that engineered by the People's National Party. So when I when I come on Friday, I am going to show a wish, wish them, the Jamaican Labour Party, the run with several of them right now. And I'm going to show that evidence. Yeah, man, we have it, man. We're there for them, you know. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, do the right thing, brother. Yeah, yeah, do the right thing. I mean, give thanks yes, for the man. work you are doing, you know, because it is necessary and uh, all the way. All the way. All the way are doing part, you know. Yes. Yeah, we don't for them, you know. Yes. Let me tell you, man, because we do the same way. And give thanks, yeah? Yeah, man. Thank you the journey. Blessings, my brother. And, you know, let me let me say this, people. That's why when we talk about um, platform, right, like a win lonesome, Right, we learn some is somebody um that beating the fire from God he knows when. And most of what we learn some put out, right? Facts. Right? Facts. And so then when we talk about platform like we learn some platform, a mystic sensation platform, an aromatic platform, right? A Jamaica Carlos platform. A Jeffrey Tavares platform, a reason with Ratigan platform, right? And um Anessa Bell. Anessa Bell, I want to take the time, right, to really big up Anessa Bell because it's just, uh, um, Anessa, what, what? Anessa Bell Rose. Anessa Bell Rose. So people, and I want people to go over Anessa Bell Rose and support Anessa Bell Rose because Anessa Bell Rose. You understand? And one of our lieutenants that out there carrying the mission, you understand, putting our things um, together, you understand, and deal with facts. Right? Hot off the press. Hot, hot off of the press. We have Kamala, right, Mango? Right? And, um, yes. And we have, um, of course, Andre Stevens. Right? You understand, Andre burned the fire too. You understand who else who else who else really for? Who else really for? Because there is no one person can do it. You know? It's a collective effort. Right? It's a collective effort. Effort. Anytime you start to, to hear about I and me, right? That is the time you understand that. Listen, me, that is not unity. Right? It is a lot of us who are putting out the information, right? Um I mean, they love their country, right? And they are fighting for their country. And so then, right, there are, there are a couple of channels when I miss me now, I'm not afraid of talking. You understand? We'll lonesome channel, will never miss me. 
right? A reason with Ratigan Channel will never miss me. You understand? Jamaica call us me over there. Aromatic. Jamaica hot topic. Over there. Jamaica hot topic. You understand? Because trust me, when hot topic putting things them together, yes, yes, and trust me, him, 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 him know for putting things together. A topic of one with them things. You understand? I will love that. So we are here spreading the message. You understand? And making sure that we educate our people because we are not going to allow right a party that ties with capitalism right defeat our people and in the process defeat jamaica we must defend jamaica as it relates to we want of course a better education system a better healthcare system right we have to fight for our generation we don't want anybody with any capitalistic mind that ties to some philosophy believing that one set of people right must conquer the earth and then and, and believe in top and um, top and bottom economics you understand that wealth trickle down from the top to the bottom no we don't want that we want opportunity provided for everyone everyone and any let me say this to our people any party not only in jamaica anywhere right in this world where you have a party attack its education system attack its education system a party who is drifting away to make home ownership home ownership becomes difficult for the masses of the people particularly the voting black when you make when you have a party that make home ownership so difficult because when Michael Manley created NHT, it was for the common man who contributed within the NHT. And now what Andrew Wallace had done with it, right? Andrew Wallace passed X amount of money out of NHT to Dex him in friend. Right? All of these things been happening. And so then when you see, when you see, you have Warmington who run going back and talk about, okay, all right. You understand him going back in. He must go back in. Because he must defend the corruption. Because him himself is corrupted. Right? And so then, we have to galvanize our people with the truth. What I want, everyone who is listening to me, when I'm going because you have some people, some blog upon TikTok run out with all sorts of things. Tell them to present the proof. So when them put out certain things, tell them to do what we and Lonson have done. Tell them to do what Mystic Sensation done. Tell them to do what Aromatic done. Tell them to do what Carlos do, Jeffrey Tavares, right? Reason with Ratigan and all of those. Andrew, St Andrew Stevens, when we, when we talk about issues, we present the source. Tell them to present the source. So I want people to tell them right now to present the FinSAC report. They are hiding it. I want people to tell them that Crawl finished with the investigation into SSL. Andrew Wallace, Andrew Lake Wallace, Lift up on the foot. You understand? Jamaican people need to know what's happening to SSL. You understand? Because SSL is FinSAC 2.0, and you don't want people to know that SSL is FinSAC 2.0. Lift up on the foot and make people understand. Crawl, finish with the investigation, and over the report to you why you don't release it. When you come, you don't, you don't come in a parliament and get red card. Eh? When you come in a parliament and get red card. Yeah, man, and I record one for going in you know, a total expel. Right? 
GLP must get jumpsuit to hotel expel an uh, orange jumpsuit orange jumpsuit bangle. you understand with the silver bangle and number across the breastplate that's what you don't need to get you understand yeah give me the red card but you don't forget orange suit you understand we, we don't know number written that's what you people need to get Jenna jones a party that is against the grain of the masses holding us down Mr. Golden is Jamaican and wants to see its people better. Now, when you look at it, um, Janjan, you understand me? I say, the man, when he was in Ministry of Education, the people that need to talk. Because rural Reed, not just act like that, you know. But people need to understand. Rural Reed was advising Andrew Holness while he was in the Ministry of Education. And you have, you have seen as it relates to what he was accused of by the Integrity Commission to be awarding contracts to Gavin while him set up him shell company them. You understand that, sir? And so then when Gavin charged and Gavin overcharged, you understand, the money coming from out of the treasury was sweet in them pockets. Yes, that is what happened. And so then, of course, rural read would understand, say, yeah, you know, at the status quo, that is the status quo. And so then rural read, when rural read act, rural read not expect to get charged. He not expect to get charged. No, rural read, after you had done that to our education system, supposed to go to court January 12th, 2024, you know, January, January, that done already, you know. Have we heard anything about it? No. They lock it down, silent. What happened to the kids? What happened? Rural read, let me tell you people then. Supposed to go, I want them to find a document. Let me find it. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I find a document. Because, listen me. I'm going to talk, look here. This one? Yeah. Put it up in the people MC. So when we are talking, we talk. Look here, and GLP has sit down on it just like other man sit down on the things that report. Oh no, look at people. Let me read this to you. Let me read it to you. Right? See it here, people. See it here. See it here. We're not telling a lie. Rural read. Fritz Pinock said for January 12th, return to court. Right? No. Wednesday, October 18, 2023, 12.39 a.m. At January 12, 2024, mention date has been fixed in the multi-million dollar fraud matter involving former education minister Rural Reed, former Caribbean Maritime University, CMU, um, President Fritz Pinock, and their three co-accused in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court. The new date was scheduled last Friday when the accused appeared in court and had their bills extended. The two men, along with Reed's wife, Sharon, their daughter, Charlie, and Jamaica Labour Party councillor for the Brownstone Division, Kim Brown Lawrence, have been charged with a range of offences, including breaches of the Corruption Prevention Act. Now, people, this is similar to what Dan Crawford had done in FINSA, you understand putting in a family member, <coughs> giving them unsecured loan. You understand? So you see the MO carry on from the Jamaica Labour Party has set a push at a at, at conspiracy to defraud, misconduct in a public office at a common law and breaches of the proceedings of crime act. The accused were charged by the Financial Investigation Division following an investigation into nearly $50 million which was alleged, allegedly diverted from the CMU. And I saw no one the Jamaican people then. I saw no one the Jamaican people then. And at the same time, when you take one of the people, let me take a call here. Yes, Carla, pleasant afternoon. Um, you're on Mystic Sensation Live. Hold on, one second. Yes, go ahead. Hello? Yes, I'm hearing you. Go ahead, sir. Bless you for saying, it's a little topic me only saw right now. 
Yes, blessings. Yeah, man, yeah, man, man. Look at the topic, interesting topic, man. All right, thank you. Oh, 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 oh. Only that we country that I, uh, uh, I must have a country that keep up all of the money, brother. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, oh, yes, of I course. Thank you. All right. Thank you. We have the fox, man. We have the fox. All right. Exactly. Friday, I'm going to deal with them, man. Friday, I come, I'm going to deal with them. All right. No, said so the government is corrosive, bad. All right. What you mean? So we didn't go. Hmm. Kiss me teeth. Kiss me teeth. So we just sit, sit, sit and talk up. You see, you see, you want a commissioner, man. We, 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 we put back and give back work. You, you see that? You, so freedom system talk up. You see that? Pure corruption. Corruption after corruption. Pure corruption. Pure corruption, my brother. Pure corruption, brother. Corruption after corruption. corruption. But we are here, man. Right now, you want me to say, in, in no, in no, in no resign. <laughs> Which is the pioneer Yes. There's no doubt. All right. Blessings. Blessings, my brother. All right. Yes, man. Enough blessings. All right. All right. Cool. Bless yeah. um, we say no, put them in a green suit. Put them in a green suit. Right. So, so there it is, people. As it relates to that information. So then let me ask, what is happening? Why are we not hearing anything? You understand from January 12th that he's supposed to go back to the court. So all everything hold long on a hush hush. Like when we hold long the FinSAC report. Eh? Why not release the FinSAC report? Release the FinSAC report. Since we don't have blame um, and are spreading the propaganda. You understand? Say PNP, cast things up. Well, I'm not release the report. Release the report, man. Release it. Right? And them sort of, and them sort of things on the, on the thing, say, Jamaican people, you understand? We are some stupid people that can be us. You know, you can come and just tell us anything. God, I know this. People get smart. Janet Jones, why do use Ministry of Education to bring in most of his people? No, it's true, Ministry of um, Security. Let me tell you, and this is what I'm saying, Jan Jan. You know, I take it away. And then you see um, a country, um, a government, right, that trying to damage our education sector. Try to make own, own ownership, our land ownership, difficult for the common man particularly for the voting black who are voting for them. Notice who they get the prime land. I mean, the elites. The elites. And what this government has done and ensure that they have done is to make NHT now become so expensive. NHT homes become, become so expensive for the common man who the contribute them money from who up here kill fill up. Them can get no house. Here, after being contributing so long. So the red card, what Nigel Clark they give in the parliament. You understand? If you just turn around and just start serve them one another with it. You understand? Because all of them need that the red card. All of them. Right? So, yes, let me say that um coming Friday, you know, we are running out again. Which bro? Put, yeah, they put government money into SSL and was taking the dividend for themselves. Can you imagine? Right, so, yes, this comes to the end of a Tuesday with Mystic Sensation. And people remember, yes, Aromatic and myself will be running out um, Friday, 
right? So looking forward, right, uh, for Friday. Um, of course, we'll be continue to do more research, right? Coming up with the truth, right, against their lies. Paula Brown, DPP sitting on the rural read case until time runs out. And then she's going to say time runs out. Statute of limitations cannot prosecute. You see, the people them automatically can now predict the DPP. <laughs> now it's sad when people can predict you. Speak to Carl. Right. Um, Carl, um, sexy, surely, uh, mystic. Them said Mark of something. Some Look here. Carol, <laughs> I heard that. And this is so ridiculous. I want to know if Mark Golden, I want to know if Mark Golden named Dan Crawford. I want to know that. Let me ask the people who talk about Mark Golden have something um, to do with FISA. I never know that Mark Golden named Dan Crawford. Or a Mark Golden named Edward Siaga. Eh? I never know that. And so then, that's why Friday, I am going to, because I didn't get to connect the dot into SSL. So Friday, we're coming back out with it, and we are going to go very deep, and we are going to show people that, of course, this is the Jamaica Labour Party weapon. And when they weaponize it, trust me, millions of dollars. You understand, rip that's how they rip our country by damaging our financial sector. That is what they do. That's their MO. And I'm going to show the people exactly what transpired two times now that the Jamaica Labour Party had done this to Jamaica. Right? Two biggest ice that they have carried out the FinSAC and the FSA. Jamaica Labour Party crime. Coming on Friday, yes, we are going to tie the dots, right? And of course, we'll be present that. They can't say a line because we have the documents. You understand? They only can look and then, then go back and go run some propaganda over TikTok because that's all they do, right? They lack the knowledge, right? Mark's bro, if Mark had anything to do with um, Finsack, the JLP would have made sure he's ex but come exactly. on. Mark, Miss Bro, Miss Bro, that's, I mean, <laughs> come on, Miss Bro, you have said it. You have said it all. Now, just imagine if Mark Golden did have something to do with Pinsa. My God, they would have run out, they would have highlighted, they would have, they would have, what do you think they would hold the report? My people who are listening to me, what do you think Jamaica Labour Party hold the Pinsa report? Because, of course, you understand? It speaks about them. It speaks about them. But I have the information as it relates to how it tied to Paul Chung, Chung Young and how it tied to SSL. And we will see you cross carry. You understand? From, from back in the days that you cross carry the run with them. Yes, but I'm not saying much until Friday. You understand? We are back at it. All right. So I want to say big thanks um, to you all, right, to continue to support us, right? I, you know, we are, we, are, we are feeling the love. And of course, it is you who still keeping us alive, right? And we willing, right, to fight to the end as it relates to fighting for our brothers and sisters, our mothers, our uncles, our nephews, right? Our daughters, our sons, our brothers, right? We are not going to stop from fight until we get good governance. And we believe, right, that Mark Golden, right, is the person, right, to bring us to good governance. And so then I have a wonderful night and thank you all for passing through Mystic Sensation. I think Andrew is finishing Siaga work. There is no thinking, Doreen. There is no thinking, right? What Siaga had done is what Andrew is doing, right? Same. 
same school, right? So it is exactly, so we have to make sure that we strengthen ourselves, right? And strengthen our nation with, right? A leader that has integrity, a leader who is honest, right? And uh, I went on a particular program. I'm not going to disrespect um, the person as it relates to his perception. But when you have the person is telling people not to vote, right? That is very serious. That is very serious. And I, I, I honestly want to believe that people who are encouraging people not to vote, you understand? To me, they're like a Trojan arse. You understand? Because if, you, if, if, if no one vote and Jamaica Labour Party in power, right, by common sense, who is going to maintain power? Who is going to maintain power? So how, how can you understand something like that? Someone is telling people not to vote, right? That is madness, right? But as I said, they can be utilizing themselves as a Trojan arse, right? So we know what's them. You understand? We are telling people, right, to strengthen yourself. Listen to what Mystic Sensation is saying on other channel, right? Um, Reggae Dub Scene, or some people know him as being lonesome, aromatic. You understand? Jamaica Carlos, right? Jeffrey Tavares, right? Um, Reason with Ratigan, Andre Stevens, um, Hot Topic, right? Um, Anissa, uh, Anissa Bell Rose. Anissa Bell Rose, all right? Hot Topic for the Press, right? Kamala, right? Mango. You understand? Yeah. Out there, speaking the truth, speaking the truth and defending democratic socialism. So, big up until Friday. Okay, right? Okay, guys. Peace so, out. safe travel on the gravel until Friday. Blessings. Hope you all have a wonderful and productive rest of the week. One love. All right.